All right, what is going on, everyone? It has been a wild couple of weeks here in the cryptocurrency market. We are in meme coin season full blown. We have been absolutely printing both here on this channel and over on my Patreon. So if you do want to come over and join, that will give you direct access to my private Discord where I tell you guys when I buy and sell crypto along with tons of other stuff, including step-by-step -step guides into airdrops, which we are, of course, talking about in today's video. Please do remember that nothing in my videos is financial advice. And guys, if you do have a millisecond and you really do appreciate these airdrop updates, it takes me a lot of time for research. So just a split second to smash that like button and it will really help me out in the YouTube algorithm. Thanks again. And let's jump straight into this. What we're talking about today, we got airdrops. Coty, I'm sure you guys have heard of this crypto, currently sitting at a 94 million dollar market cap if we go to all here we can see this coin first launched onto the scene in 2019 so has very much been building currently through two bear markets of course they had an absolutely huge pump here all the way up to around 64 cents today sitting at seven cents that is around an 8x from where we are right now and we got some stuff to go through right because they are doing an airdrop and if you are currently a holder of Coty or not you can participate in this. But before we do, heading over to their website, we can see that they are a layer one enterprise and Coty creates the world's leading digital infrastructure for payments and enterprise tokens. Now, I would suggest coming over and checking this out, reading up into it so you can learn yourself about the Coty project. But today, today we are talking about their airdrop, right? They are doing an airdrop currently. The chance to get involved in this airdrop will end on the 8th of May, 2023 at 1 p.m. UTC. Now, of course, Coty is behind this airdrop, but what they're airdropping to the participants isn't actually Coty tokens, but G Coty. Now, what exactly is G Coty? So it's a governance token of Coty's treasury and provides holders with an API boost, access to participate in treasury liquidations, and it will give them voting rights when it comes to treasury governance. Now, how we get into this. Participants have a unique opportunity to receive a substantial share of G Coty tokens. By the end of the campaign, between 25 and 30 million G Coty tokens will be shared amongst the participants at no cost whatsoever. At the current deposit levels, locked assets would receive 120 G Coty tokens for every $1 USD deposited. This includes the 500,000 G Coty tokens that have already been allocated to the first 100 participants. Now you might be saying, I thought this was free. I didn't realize I had to do anything or deposit any tokens. Well, the way it works is people are locking up their tokens here, right? So they're locking up Coty tokens and they're also locking up USDC and USDT in the Coty treasury for 180, 270 or 360 days. And they will be rewarded with the native G Coty tokens. Participants require to pay via the Viper wallet. You'll connect right here. And then if you want to, of course, after doing your own research, you will deposit into to this pool here and then the airdrop date will be on the 1st of June 2023 at 1200 hours UTC. So participants will be able to connect their MetaMask wallet to the Coty's treasury. This is what I showed you before here. And of course there will be and of course users will be required to pay the relevant gas fees. And before we jump into more opportunities in today's video, I want to show you a tutorial made by Coty themselves on how to actually get involved in the G Coty airdrop and you can watch it here and follow along if that's something that you want to do. So now we're going to go ahead and click connect, keeping in mind that a MetaMask wallet is needed in order to participate. After agreeing to the terms and conditions, we can click connect MetaMask. A MetaMask window will display showing you the accounts you have. You can select one or multiple accounts at a time before clicking next and connect. You'll then need to sign the transaction to continue. Once you're connected, you'll see a truncated version of your MetaMask address next to this connected icon. You'll notice now that the Connect button has been replaced with a Deposit Now button. On the next page, you'll need to connect to your Viper wallet in order to let the system know where to send the native g -Cody rewards. Enter your email address and password to log in. On the next page, while our network is set to Testnet, you'll see Mainnet listed instead. Below, you'll need to supply either the secret key or the seed phrase associated with your Viper wallet. Then we click Connect to continue. Now, you'll see the new deposit page. Here, you'll choose all the parameters of your deposit. We can first select the asset type, which includes Kodi ERC20, USDT, and USDC. 
In this demonstration, we're going to select USDT. Next, we'll enter the amount and for this video, we'll choose 1000. Then we have the lock period. You have three options of 180, 270, and 360 days, along with their respective g Cody drop ratio percentages. Finally, we can see our verified Viper wallet address from the previous page. Once we've confirmed all the details, we're going to go ahead and click Deposit. A MetaMask notification will pop up where you can check the relevant gas fees and the total amount before confirming the transaction. Once successful, you'll receive this confirmation screen with the transaction hash. By clicking on it, you'll be redirected to Etherscan to see the transaction details. Back to the ERC20 program page, you'll notice that the deposit we just made is now in pending confirmation status down in the monitor section. You can see the deposit amount, the drop amount, which will be announced once the program moves from enroll status to locked, and the status, which is currently waiting for on-chain confirmation. If we click on Manage, we can see all the details of our deposit. There's deposit status, deposit amount, drop amount, which will be updated after the campaign ends, our deposit time, and the locking period we choose, which in this case is 360 days. Then there's unlock time, which will populate once the transaction is confirmed. Below that is the drop time, which again will be on June the 1st, different from the example seen here in the test environment. Finally, our verified Viper wallet address that G-Cody Rewards will be dropped to. In this Activities tab, we can see a time-stamped record of all of our transactions in the campaign. Going back, now we can see the transaction has been approved, with the status set to submit it. We can go back and deposit again using different assets or selecting different locking periods by selecting Deposit Now once again. So that's it for how to lock your ERC20 tokens in the G-Cody airdrop campaign. And now moving away from the Coty airdrop, but as we've been speaking about Sui on the channel a lot recently, and we were hoping for an airdrop that never actually came, we did talk about how you could get your hands on the Sui token before it actually launched, and now it has launched. So I just want to update you guys on the pricing. As you know, I said here on the channel, once it launches, it's probably going to absolutely fly like it did, hitting an all-time high here on Binance of around $2, and then coming down to around $1.03, bouncing around there for a while, up to a dollar five and now finding some stability here at one dollar twenty now for me I'm still waiting. I'm still going to wait to find out what happens with this. If we do head over to Coin Market Cap and we check out SWE, we can see right now that the market cap is 681 million with a fully diluted market cap of 12 billion. We can compare it to some other chains like Aptos sitting at a 1.8 billion dollar market cap with a fully diluted market cap of 10 billion. We also have Solana sitting at 8 billion dollar market cap fully diluted 11 billion and as i said sweet 681 million we could even look at a chain like polygon at a 9 billion or even Arbitrum, which is probably the most recent launched project at a $1.6 billion market cap. In my eyes, this does give us some room to grow here for SWE, but I will be waiting patiently to see where I want to enter and if I want to enter. So of course, I'll keep you guys updated with that. Now, moving on from this, there are some other opportunities I'd like to introduce you guys to today. There is a new airdrop happening here by Escura World. They currently have 82,000 followers on their Twitter page, and I did find this just by searching for different airdrop opportunities. You can join this and complete quests for a chance to win $3,500 in USDT. So come and check this out. Of course, do your research before connecting your wallets. Connect burner wallets and that sort of thing to keep yourself safe. But there's an opportunity there. And also another opportunity that we don't have a guarantee for is the Venom Foundation. Now we spoke about this before, but the testnet is now live. So you actually have the opportunity to do some tasks and take part in this to see whether or not potentially they'll do an airdrop. So if we do jump over here to the private discord if you did want to come and join this the link to the patreon is down there in my description and you get access to all of these updates here step-by-step -step guides on how to participate in confirmed airdrops and potential airdrops like the venom airdrop what you want to do is download the venom wallet here from venom under how it works create a new wallet and of course don't forget to write down your seed phrase do not send it in a whatsapp message save it digitally write it down by hand and store it somewhere safe if you can't remember it in your head 
head, which is pretty hard to do. But once you've done that, by connecting to this website and by following Venom, you'll be able to claim 50 Venom tokens. From there, you'll be able to claim another five Venom tokens by completing a daily quiz over at the Venom Network faucet. Now, remember, this is the test net, so these tokens aren't worth anything. But by interacting with test nets, we've seen very large airdrops before. Now, you'll be able to claim eight NFTs by completing each task underneath Explore Venom's ecosystem. And there are a number of other things that you can do here so you can participate more in the ecosystem. And what we suggest is for you to repeat these steps for one to four weeks, maybe more, continuing to add volume and transactions to your wallet and the Venom testnet in order to potentially get this airdrop. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully I did provide you with some value today. If I did, smash up that like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.